Ay. Man, this shit so hard. Niggas turn 17, have a motion. Drinking no mud and I callin' my potion. Don't tell them shit, they gon' think that I'm told. Clutching it fine, I'm banging the stick. These niggas trippin', they actin' like bitches. Don't come around, we got gloss in these stitches. We pushin' shit back and we bust at your feet. Call a little case so he gon' make it fade. Go, I'm in the trap, I'm walkin' the fago. Pop me a bird and I feel like I'm booty. Yo, what's going on, YouTube, man? In today's video, we finna be giving y'all some cons or some things that I dislike about my 5th gen Camaro. And let's get to it. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna start with, man, is the tail lights. I feel they could have made the tail lights better. I like the um, 2010 to 2013 tail lights better. I had to swap out my tail lights because the stock tail lights on the 14 and 15, man, I ain't gonna lie, them tail lights are terrible. So if you if you don't like them, just swap them out. You just swap them out. And I made a video on me swapping them out, but like they remind me of some Corvette lights, and I think, and they also like the 16 lights. So yeah, swap out your tail lights, man. All right, so another thing that I dislike and I also think it's fun is where the gas tank is located. It's on the passenger side of the car. And I feel it being on the passenger side of the car is harder when you're at a gas station because most people gas tank is on the driver's side. So like when you at a gas station trying to get gas, you got to park in front of people and all that, it's just bad. But then also the gas tank easily fly open. Like when I'm washing my car, it'll just easily like, like see, I didn't need to open it right. Look, hold on. I'm finna close it. Watch how easy it come open. That's not how you're supposed to open it. You're supposed to open it when, by pressing it in and it come open. But this gas tank, man, I feel it can be better structured or have a lock on it or something. And yeah, I really think that's all for the outside unless I think of something. But let's move to the inside. That's mostly everything it. All right, man, so another thing that I hate is the stock radio. Stock radio is it's trash. I ain't gonna lie, like my original really came to the point where it stopped working, and this is a common problem in all 5th gen Camaros with the stock radio working. So you have to get another radio, man, if yours go out sooner or later. But I'm probably ain't gonna get one since I plan on getting a new car anyway. And yeah, but I'm finna show y'all them eyes. Let's see if it come on right now. No sign of a radio in work. Wow. I mean, so another thing that I hate, man, with these radio is no Bluetooth. I'm finna show y'all, like, this radio, it has Bluetooth where you can talk on the phone, but it has no Bluetooth where you can listen to your music. And you know what? I was finna show you the Bluetooth settings that you can't do it, but I forgot the darn radio don't work. So sometimes when I change gears, it'll work. It'll come on. Nope. Didn't come on. But yeah, that's it for the radio, man. Just make sure I get another radio. Don't use the start radio. All right, so another thing that I hate, man, is the cabin noise. Um, I don't know if this is a problem with just V6 Camaros or is it a problem with the SS Camaro, the G28 Camaros. I don't know. Somebody in the comments section probably know that. But it has a bad cabin noise when you get an exhaust set up there. I only have a muffler delete, a resonator delete, and the X-pipe. The cabin noise really got worse when I got the X-pipe, but it's like a noise where... I'll probably find a video and throw it in there. Sound I'm talking about. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but this is the sound. And this is what my arrow on. It, it, it does different when I got when I turn my arrow on. Sometimes it, I don't know, it's very annoying. But I'm finna show y'all do it go down when I turn my arrow off. So I'm finna turn my arrow off. Let's see. See, it went down, but not completely away. But now I'm finna roll up on the gas. You can hear it go away. But watch this when I press the brakes again. Watch this. Come to a complete stop. Back loud. But it's like a noise where it sounds like something is rattling. I hate it, bro. When you just and it only happens when you island though. It only happens when you island. It's, it's very annoying. It don't happen every time, but it happens most of the time very annoying so i don't know how to fix it i don't know what it is i never looked into it but just know it's something very annoying that you want to deal with so yeah that's for that cabin noise all right man so another thing that i hate is the um the mirrors up in here the love you know how you look at your cell type mirrors y'all see man these mirrors are small like what what is that bro like you know what i'm saying i ain't even know they were that small because when i got the car i ain't even look at that much at it I found out like six months later, I ain't gonna lie. It was a female in here. She pulled it down. She looked at it and I was like, wow. See, I just, 
I just noticed that he got this. I didn't even notice that. But yeah, man, these mirrors are very much small. I feel they could have made that a little bigger. I understand it's a sports car, but they still could have been done better. The camera kind of, kind of close, but that's cool. All right, man, so another thing that I like, dislike is the steering wheel. I feel the 6 gen steering wheels are actually way better. And I ain't gonna lie, I like the 2010 through 2012, I think it is, steering wheel. I like them better than this one. Now, I customized the steering up a little bit. I added carbon fiber on it, and I added some paddle shifters, some extensions on it. So it looks better than what it originally was, but I, I kind of still don't like it, though. Yeah. All right, so another thing that I dislike, I really believe this is a problem only in the 2014 and 2015 Camaro, or just the 2015 Camaro, is that the key tend to get stuck in the ignition a lot. You know, when you turn off your car and you're trying to pull it out and pull it back, it tends to get stuck in there. I got a video of that happening, I believe so. It's, it's just very annoying. Let's see if it happened now. Let's just see. It's most likely not gonna happen that I'm recording. No, it didn't happen in time, but it tends to actually happen a lot. All right, so a lot of y'all was expecting me to probably put that I don't like the cabin size in there. Y'all probably expecting me to put the blind spots. I mean, that's something that everybody come to put in there, and I feel it's a coupe. I don't know what more you could expect. You can't expect to have that much space in the coupe. And honestly, you're probably not going to expect to see as well as you can in a four-door in a coupe. I mean, it's a coupe, so that's that's why I ain't put that stuff up in here. And, yeah, man, I believe that's pretty much it for the dislikes. I don't have the car for at least a year, so I got enough time to just look at stuff like that. I'll probably going to come up with some more stuff over the time, but if y'all want a video, man, on me explaining some things that I do like, I can, because I still love this car, man. I ain't... Them just some dislikes over time that I found out, but I still love this car. So yeah, man. Hey, beat those in the chat. <laughs>